Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode four of my Stonebluff Let's Play for Minecraft. Woo! Um, I did a little bit of stuff and things offline. Um, I increased our little farm area uh, for the trees, which allowed me to get a lot of trees and saplings a little bit more food, which I'll probably go ahead and cook this stuff up so we don't have to worry about food for a bit. Um, yeah, so I cleared a tunnel. These tunnels are 20 long, so we could put rooms on either end for um, mob farms and animal farms. So, yeah, um, that's for future expansions. And I also put some little, nice little stairways up to the top. I, <laughs> I really wanted to open this up and make it feel a little bit less claustrophobic. And I also thought I would maybe over our smelting area put in a sifting room for future expansion when when we get to the stage where we start getting some automations done we're gonna move our sifting stuff up here and uh, once once we get it to the automation stage uh, yeah cuz we'll want a steady income of diamonds and just make like a little three by three grid of uh, diamond meshes and this area I thought I had lined up the um, the rooms that this would, the center of this one would be the center of that one, but it's off because I forgot to add these three blocks. Uh, this is where the hallway ends or begins downstairs and this one doesn't start till here. So it's a little bit off, uh, but I think it'll be okay. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to do this setup a little bit differently. I'm going to try to use some different mods other than just the X Nihilo one. Um, because I did, I have played, uh, I have played this through, uh, not all the way to the end, but I played some with my husband in a multiplayer game. And um, we got pretty far. Um, but. I found that the X Nihilo, while it is um, it is good, it it's just not very fast. Um, it's pretty slow when you compare it with other ways to to get to generate the items. Like, uh, for instance, the chickens. Uh, the chickens are freaking crazy, fantastic, but uh, we're not to that yet. So, I did make some uh, little storage drawers here because uh, <laughs> I was just I was just chopping down the wood, having a good old time, and um, and I got a whole bunch, and so I splurged and I used it to sort of make some uh, structural. Uh, yeah, it's just for looks, but. Uh, yeah, to sort of say, hey, uh, this is being fortified by this wood. So, <laughs> yay! Um, anyway, let's go ahead and I have a quest that I wanted to do today. I've been waiting so long for it to make the diamond mesh. I uh, sieved up enough gravel to get just enough to make that diamond mesh. So now our quest updated. We can place that down and do the bada bing bada boom and get a quest reward. Let's see what's in there. Blacker lotus. Um, so these flowers are good for Batania. I think you just you just throw them in your mana pool and it gives you a boost to your mana. Uh, simple as that. I did make up some clay uh, which we will probably use. I also 
infected a few more trees and uh, harvested those. Um, it's all, it's, it's oh, this, this mod pack is, uh, it's pretty cool because it takes a lot of the early grind out, uh, makes it a little bit easier to gather those early resources to get you going. So what I have here is some dust and some gravel to be sieved through our diamond mesh. Yes. Um, so <laughs> yeah, good times. But we're definitely gonna wanna get this stuff automated as quickly as possible. But what I want to do is look at um, actually additions I think is what it is oh I think I got a charge service course there we go um, but the diamond mesh is gonna give us the best rates to get the redstone and we need a little bit of redstone because I want to um, get that uh, smeltery a little bit more automated I did work on it a little bit and I put a hopper under the ingot um, under the casting table so that we could uh, extra utilities has a clock that's basically a timer that you can put on above the faucet that will keep it cycling through uh, but it takes five redstone so I definitely want to get that done and then all I'll have to do is put uh, put this the, the ores into <laughs> the smeltery and then it will automatically just take it out so yeah that's a thing um, but that's like my last finishing touch. I would also like to maybe put in a, an extra little space over there on our um, lava production to maybe siphon off some of that lava and turn it into obsidian. So we'll need to make a stone barrel and we'll need to get a bottle of water. Also, I added in another water, which isn't a big thing, just to balance it out. And our um, oak barrel, oak crucible, you can see it barely in there. Um, I put it under the water source to make it easier to get the clay, because then I can just uh, get the water with my bucket, put it in there, boom boom stick it with the dust that's what, that's how I got the, the 16 clay over here it was bada bang bada boom <laughs> and another thing I would like to I think maybe next episode well I want to look at making a bonsai tree because that's a thing a bonsai plant and it's the ONS uh a bonsai pot because that's a good way to uh, automate and you can make a hopping bonsai pot that it will automatically feed the output into a chest below which is awesome uh, so we can just make uh, a decent size uh, crate and and bam you got a automated tree farm so what I might do is in between episodes I'll prepare for that and dig out a room up there so that we can get um, we can get some a bonsai room and make like a, a couple of different tree types so we can have different materials to decorate with which would be awesome um, and build up all sorts of resources uh, now these bonsai plants they're they're not very fast and you don't get a lot every time it harvests the tree but the important thing is that it's doing its thing so that you can do other things 
so but it is really awesome it's a way to automate your wood production early on and it's super awesome i love that mod it's so amazing <laughs> So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing next episode. But um, let's see how much. Oh, look at all that redstone. Oh, yes. I love me some redstone. That is amazing. Okay, so let's throw some of this stuff in here. We really only need that redstone. That's really what I wanted. And the gravel is just so that we can get more uh, diamonds and emeralds and lapis, some more coal. Uh, but I'm going to need five of these guys. And four stone. And one of these needs to be a stick. I mean a torch. Needs to have a stick. <laughs> Something like that. But this is the clock. Oh, I, sometimes I get those mixed up. There we go. The redstone clock. And we also need, oh, I need, um, I need one to use. We need to put a lever on it to be able to turn it off and on if we want. So we just boink, put that up there, turned it off. And that way whenever we come and throw uh, our items in here, we can turn it back on and it'll automatically pull it out and put it into our chest here. Which is super cool and awesome. Okay, and let's go ahead and upgrade that chest. Oh, we only need like one little block since we got a little bit of iron and we're gonna uh, we just got us some more so oh we only got enough for like one but we can um go ahead and test that out so we just bring our metals over here Boink. throw it in and forget about it forget about it she so what I might want to do, oh, I used up the Envar hammer making our tunnels, um, and I made a couple of iron hammers. This is my second one. You just need um, five iron, like a so, and you make a little upside down helmet, or not an upside down helmet upside down boat or a helmet shape and bada bing you got a hammer uh, now these don't have near uh, as much durability as the in bar hammer in bar hammer has 850 this has 500 and it's easy i don't have a lot of nickel uh there there it goes there it goes it's making the iron bars automatically yes <laughs> so i only have six nickel and I'd rather save that for, um, you know, something more important. I don't know. But, yes, I raised the roof. The roof. Oh, 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 oh. So, that being said, I want to sort of, I guess, let's go this way. We do have another one of our little... Uh, transfer nodes for the fluids so maybe we'll go to this away yes yes I can see it so we need our transfer node and the transfer pipe and we have some stone over here uh, which we need three to make a slab and then, shoo, and we're also going to need a bucket of water to put on top of that. Um, okay, so let's go and just lay this out. So 
there we have our stone barrel put our transfer node on there and there it's filling it up with lava excellent so now we just need to put our water on top of there and maybe um, maybe we'll just do a hopper because I don't think we'll need a whack of a lot what did I come over here for um, I don't know my metal is the other direction so let's put these guys back there so we just need to grab five iron to make this hopper so hopper say and we'll just stick this under our barrel now I wonder if I place that block back, um, we should be able to, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do this one. We'll go ahead and replace that block. Yes, okay. <laughs> So, um, normally I make a saw and, uh, stuff and things, but I think I'm just going to cheap out and put a couple blocks there. Oh no! Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. There we go. Now that should be making our, the blinking should be it turning into obsidian. So yeah, we got obsidian. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, excuse me. Normally I wouldn't start recording until after that goes off, but, um, my daughter's sick this morning, so she went to bed, and I didn't have to take her to the bus stop, so. Yeah, so. Oh, what the? Where did you come from, buddy? Do I have a way to, can I kill him with my hammer? We obviously have a dark spot somewhere. Oh, what? <laughs> the hammer is a pretty good little 11 attack damage. Wow, yeah, that's that's amazing. Awesome, so we killed our first monster. Um, where did it spawn? Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I did the thing. I did the boo-boos. Um, I thought that would be uh, lit enough. Apparently that's not either. I did quite a bit off camera. I made a bunch of torches and I thought I lit, lit everything up. So we're going to come through here with our little smashies. Um, Oh, look at that down there. This is just going to be temporary. I'm just going to throw a light there for the moment. Oh, wow. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, these look clear. I thought I... There we go. Everything should be taken care of now. 
Um, I don't really have a mob drop chest yet. I'm not ready for that. No! So, <laughs> we did the stuff and things. Um, I think there is a, the quest to do obsidian to go to the nether. Um, so... Let's save that. We'll save that for next episode. But what we might do... Do we have enough iron left? Just barely. Um, we're going to take this guy. And we're going to upgrade him. And do another quest on this episode. Yeah, that's right. Two quests in one episode. What a bargain. <laughs> And let's go back. Bada bing. Claim that. Yes. So we get to see what's in the bag. 12 more yellow right ore. And we can't really do anything with that at the moment. Because that has to be processed in uh, the alloy smelter. So let's place this guy back so he can do all the stuff and things. Make our lava to get our obsidian. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. And next episode, um, I w I'm probably going to try to clear out an area for a mob farm. And we'll do that next episode so that we can um, get some of the, those drops coming in. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.